basic uses and properties of alert dialog. Here's a basic flutter application. Let's add a center widget and elevated button in the body of the scaffold, through which our dialog box will be shown. Just remember, it doesn't have to be elevated button. It can be any on press detector widget. Now in the on-press property of elevated button, call show dialog method. The show dialog method require two properties, that is context and builder. The context property accepts the parent builder context. Builder accepts a function that returns a dialog widget. In our case will return alert dialog widget. The builder provide us the context of the parent widget as parameter. Title property of alert dialog accepts a widget. Here I use the text widget as it is most commonly used. Title is more like a header, the topmost widget of alert dialog. Content property also accepts a widget, it can be any widget. In this case, I use the text widget. This property takes up the middle portion of alert dialog. Action property accepts a list of widget. Mostly list of buttons are used to perform different actions. Here I used two text buttons. Just remember, it doesn't have to be a button. Now in the text button, you can perform any action that you need to, and to close the alert dialog after performing a certain action, you can call navigator.pop and provide context as parameter. This will close the alert dialog after performing the actions. As you see I call for print method before colon to pop the dialog. This way, the action will be performed first and then pop the dialog. Background color property lets us change the color of the dialog box. There are many more properties to customize the dialog box, such as title padding, content padding, title textile, content textile and many more which are not that important. Padding accepts edge inset geometry object, and textile accepts textile object. Have a look at it. To change the shape of the dialog box, use the shape property. It accepts shape border object. Here I use stadium border. It shapes the dialog to stadium shape. That's all for basic uses and properties of alert dialog. There are many more properties that helps us to decorate the dialog. I will leave a link to official Flutter documentation. Do have a look at it. You might find some properties helpful. And as always, thank you for your support and watching my videos, and if my videos are helpful, please leave a like and subscribe the channel if you are not subscribed yet. As I will be coming with more Flutter widgets.